Nah, 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 mate. We don't run with them old boys no more. We're the new lot coming through. I mean, they just can't keep up with us lot these days. Too many people worried about getting caught on cameras, CCTV, getting charged for it. Us lot just don't care. Tottenham has been in my family for years, mate. From my granddad to my uncle, now down to me, born and bred. If there's 11 lads on that pitch and they've got a Spurs emblem on their chest, I'll be following them to the bitter end, mate. Sex, drugs, booze, nothing compares to having a tear up with the lads. It's really a lot like family, mate. We're one unit, you see, and you expect the other geezer to have your back at all times. When you're growing up and someone in your family doesn't have your back, they ain't family to me. It don't matter if they're giving it the big one or not. Actions earn my trust, mate, and football is exactly the same. Well, I'm rather ashamed of Phil being a football hooligan. He wasn't brought up to be a hooligan. And you don't have to be a hooligan to enjoy a football match. So, what does family mean to you? To be honest with you, mate, I don't really want to go into it. I've had film crews around here in the past, and it's a bit of a grey area for me, you know? Keep it close to my heart, you know? Keep your cards close to your chest. I do worry when he goes out, because he's a big fella, and he can take care of himself. But I always found, I mean, I'm of an age when there's always someone bigger and tougher than what you are. Does your nan know what you get up to? I hope, I hope not, because, you know, as I say, it's your family first, football second, and, you know, I really don't want that image in my nan's eyes, you know. I mean, I think she has an inkling, but, you know, it's kind of brushed under the carpet and kind of tongue-in-cheek banter, but I think she has a rough idea of what's going on. When people say, oh, uh, he's a good boy, this and that about their grandsons and sons, but he hears in the house, you know, he would never, ever be rude or nasty. You know, I've, he's never, ever been rude to me. Every major company around the world has started in a garage somewhere. I'm talking Apple, Amazon, Disney, and now this little bad boy. And let me tell you, this ain't no sweatshop. There's no kids running around here sewing night gear, son, I'll tell you. Hey, ping pong, put it away, mate. Camera crew's here. <laughs> no, I'm just fucking with you. There's no kids in here. Anyway, so what I do is, the game plan, we'll go from scratch, shall we? So, we order these bad boys off of line. Bulk order. Cheap. But feels good. Maybe ten pound a pop. Next stage is we order these bad boys. Now they look the part, don't they? I mean, I could throw one on my shoulder here. Could have it here if you want it like. A but it is good for me. Don't know about you. What you do is you get your badges. Some of the holes ain't that quality. See that one? There's a bit tight. Get your hole punch. Punch the hole. Give her a little wiggle about. Voila. And we get a bit of the Nan's junk mail. Sorry, Nan, more of that to come off. That's a shit strip, I'm gonna use one I made earlier, but you get the gist anyway, son. Here's one I made earlier. Look at that curve in that bad boy. That is ready to go on any little mug shoulder. Paper goes back on, bit of the Nan's junk mail again. And then the stony badge goes on. Bit of weight on the top of her. Leave that to sit overnight. Reason why we use cans is for the curve. Tango, Pepsi, Coke, personal choice. I like Tango because I'm a bit fruity, me, but. See, the trick is in all this, is that the clobber I wear cost me a fucking arm and the leg. But the people online don't know this is fake clobber and they don't need fucking know. It's stone something and CP Island. All I know is he should be saving his money, not spending it on this gear, as he calls it. He says it's fashionable and it's everybody's wearing it, but I don't buy that, I'm sorry. It's just a way for the companies to make money out of the kids. What did he tell you about the quotes? 
Well, he says when he wears, goes to football, he goes out, the badges keep falling off. I've got to keep sewing them on again. I don't see the point. He may as well leave them off and not or pay all that money for them in the first place. I feel like I let her down a lot of the time with the whole, you know, the football and the fighting and the, the birds and the drugs and, you know, going out all the time at all hours of the day and making her sit up waiting for me. And uh, you take them things for granted. And it's uh, when you look back and reflect, it's uh, kind of hits home, you know. Someone, she's not just my nan. She's she's a best friend, and uh, sometimes I want to throw the stone on it on her and bring her to the footy with me, you know. <laughs> I think, and you worry about him, you know, when he goes out, and you look at the clock and you think, oh, he should be back by now. You know, where is he and what's he doing? It's not clever to get yourself a bad name. You know, I don't know, some young men think it is, but I keep telling them it isn't, you know. Well, I'm hoping, you know, as he gets older and um, he will grow out of it and he'll see that it's it's not clever. It's, um, I mean, I used to go, before we were married, his granddad and I used to go, I used to go to the football, I used to go to Tottenham and used to see some of it then, especially if Tottenham were playing Arsenal, not as bad as it is now. And they, they weren't called hooligans really they, at the time, they were just, a bit of trouble, so I'm hoping Phil will come to his senses. Really, he's um, he's not um, 18 anymore. He's now in his 20s. So I think it's time he grew up and um, you know find something better to do than um, make trouble at uh, football matches. And when he comes out of the football matches on the railway station or um, along the road, wherever it happens to trouble happens to start, and not be in the middle of it all the time. I've really struggled since my granddad passed away. He was a big, big rock in our family unit. Um, quiet, very humble man, but sometimes the quietest person in the room is the most moving person in the room. And I think uh, if I could even be half the fella that he was, then I'd be successful. Because what he was about, his family attributes and looking after people that were close and. I think that's why it was drilled into me from such a young age that you look after your own first and nothing else matters. Yes, I think it's about time. I mean, he's, um, he'll be 20, uh, 27, I think, this year. Yeah, 27. And I wouldn't mind some great-grandchildren. But I can't see it at the moment, the way he's acting. And, um, and that, I mean, if he's a football hooligan, who's going to take him on? You know, who wants to admit that they're fellas a football hooligan? Some ni a nice girl, and I only want him to have a nice girl. I don't want him to have one that's not a nice girl. So, how many, how many troopers you got coming down, son? Yeah, well I've got about 25 dead cert foot soldiers ready to rumble. I don't want to hear none of that. It'll be swift and quick and over before you know it. Phil? Yep. You better come out here. There's one a, second, son, one second more. There's a man here from the council who said he's got an eviction notice for us. Now, I don't know anything about this, you better come Listen here, little mug, I'll give you a call back when I finish. Hi, fella. Morning, sir. I'm from the council. I'm regarding notice to seeking possession. Are you f***ing lost or something? Uh, no, I'm in, in the right house. Definitely in the right house. Have you received any mail or anything? No, now? nothing. It's the first I've heard of it. So, go on. You've received a lot of mail. Well, I'm not going to lie Listen, to you. Mate, you want to you you lower your tone while. down, son? Lower your tone down. I think you need to calm down, sir. All right. I'm, you know, I'm a nice guy. I'm here. You listen, listen here. Give you notice. Listen here, you little f***ing grass. Yeah. Going. Did you grass? Yeah, yeah. F***ing grass. You're filming this. Yeah, I can film my own. You might fucking film this, by the way. You carry on rolling these f***ing cars, man. Delivery I'll sort now. this fucking mug out. Yeah. Right, right, right. Like, be careful. Right, well, you're getting a bit of money. You pay your bill. Don't get yourself into trouble. Fucking little mug. You fucking believe that? Look, he's fucking. I didn't know nothing about it. He's forgot his fucking sandwich bag as well. Oh, you've got your sandwiches. Oh, fuck off. Fucking little mug.